Portable monitors are not cheap, but it gives you a better experience of gaming on the go. The Nintendo Switch is already portable, but what if you want to play in a slightly bigger screen? Or share the gaming experience with your friends? Maybe there's another option, especially when you have a tablet lying around your house. Hello there tech buddies! Welcome to Tech and Things. This channel is created for product unboxing, product review, and preview of gadgets that we already have in our house or further tech that we want or interested in. In the past, we made the content on how to use your laptop as your monitor, and recently, I remember that I have an old 10-inch Samsung tablet that I rarely use and thought that maybe there's a way to use it as a portable monitor. For this content, I will show you how to utilize an Android tablet as your portable gaming monitor. What do you need for this setup? First, an HDMI source. For this, I will be using my dock Nintendo Switch. Then, an Android tablet. I have a Samsung Note 10 2014 edition with KitKat Android version or higher versions of Android will do. Next is a video capture card that I used before. You can check out the video link for the previous content including the unboxing. And lastly, since the video capture card output is via USB-A, we need a USB-A to micro USB adapter since we will connect this to our Android tablet with micro USB port. To make this work, we will use an Android app which can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. We will use the USB camera app. For connections and setup, it's very simple. Just connect the matching ports with all the items we discussed. Connect the video capture card to the tablet with the use of the USB-A to micro USB adapter. As you can see, the app automatically starts when you connect the capture card to the tablet. The app is now ready to accept video input. You have a few options for video resolution and frame rates. I will select 1920 by 1080p, 60 frames per second. Now, let's connect the HDMI cable from the Nintendo Switch dock to the video capture card. And now, we can wake up our console to enable display output. Touch the screen to enter full screen mode. One good thing with this setup is that the console audio is already transmitted through the app using the tablet speakers. I guess it's game time, but before that, I checked the latency for the setup, and I can feel a bit of lag. But this has better response compared to our previous setup where we used the laptop as a monitor.
If you're looking for a portable monitor but you don't have the budget and you already have a tablet in your house, this is a neat way to do it, to somehow improve gaming experience. It has a bit of latency, so you might as well test it with other game types with crucial timings on control aspect. I might use this setup every once in a while depending on the circumstances, but connecting your console to TV or monitor is still the best way. Stay tuned for new content and live streams on our channel for more tech and things. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.